हेलो 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 Director IST to take over the proceedings. Guru Piyo Namaha, Sabha Namaskara, Dignitaries on the Dayas, of the Dayas, Business Scholars, Faculty, Students and Industry Colleagues, and all the audience. Good morning to one of all. Now, I would like to give a brief uh, introduction on the trust and how the trust formed and what motivated the students to form the trust and tell about few words about our beloved professor. Professor N. Somester Rao was a retired professor of analytical chemistry on the university. He taught analytical chemistry for more than three decades and devoted his life to the field of education through teaching and research. He established an unquenchable quest throughout to improve the quality of the life through science. He guided almost 330 PhD students and 15 MPhil students and he also published over 50 research papers, publications. He was the dad fellow in 1982 uh, and he went to Germany and again he went as a senior dad fellow in 1994. He attracted about uh, uh, almost 5 crores of rupees as a project fund and established a very good research laboratory in Andhra University. He was a member in uh, Andhra Pollution Control Board and also Indian Ports Association. He worked in varying fields spanning from charge transfer complexes, water pollution, air pollution, concentrating especially on areas of the societal interest and importance. Such a towering personality left this uh, physical world suddenly and unexpectedly on sixth December 2015, leaving behind a rich legacy of undying passion and zeal for education and research and quest to improve the quality of human life. His students, well-wishers, admirers and family members quickly recovered from the shock and vacuum created thereby and derived inspiration from his invaluable qualities and united to carry forward his teaching, research and scientific spirit and dream dreams with an ultimate aim of doing good to the society. Uh, this non-profitable trust named after Professor Enzo Mesoro, working with the, uh, a sole aim of taking forward his ideas, aspirations, endeavors and his unfinished task ahead using uh, the guidance received from his uh, and uh, with support, cooperation and uh, help from one and all. Looking at the uh, talent and caliber of the trust members who ranges from scientists, corporate executives, industries and also so many people dedicated and have confidence that trust can accomplish to the, all the objectives aimed at. Today's seminar followed by the panel discussion association with the Center for Environment, JNTU. And the first activity, this is the first activity we started on behalf of the trust and uh, we would like to like help students or uh, research scholars who are aspiring for jobs, who are aspiring for new research and uh, we are already in this field that we can help any of those people. And we also uh, welcome all the suggestions from the students 
And if you need any information of the trust, you can always browse the uh, information given or you can contact us at any time. Thank you very much. A very good morning to all of you. Distinguished uh, dignitaries on the terrace. Professor Y. Anjaneyalu, my former colleague in the university, former director of IST, JNPH, and uh, Emeritus Professor in one of the US uh, universities. Dr. P. C. Gupta, former member secretary, CBCB Government of India. Dr. P. N. B. Vipeshwar Rao, secretary, Professor NSR, Memorial Trust. My colleague, and Director of the Institute of Science and Technology, Madam Jayashri, the organizer of this uh, seminar, Mr. T. Vijayalakshmi, other distinguished invitees, guests, my dear students, trust and media. At the outset, let me congratulate the NSR Memorial Trust for organizing this first uh, Minister uh, Information of Memorial Research talk in this university and also bringing a very eminent uh, person like Professor Vaila Ajaneyu to discuss on a topic of very wide importance. The Center of Environment, in fact, was established by his vision and I was following since my days of uh, in JNTU how the environment has grown from leaps to bounds. In fact, uh, it is one of the largest uh, uh, unit which actually does a lot of research work in terms of paper publications, producing PLGs, and I hope that uh, they'll come out with uh, some patents also in this uh, center which will help the society at large. The topic of this uh, seminar also is a very apt as uh, advanced in water and wastewater treatment. There are only two issues that are bothering this human society as of today. One is energy, other is water. Even we can live without energy, but we cannot live without water. The water is the most important and it is the duty of every citizen, every one of us here, to see that water is not wasted. We should think ways and means to conserve this water. In fact, uh, in what harvesting is one of the best things and if you see the newspaper you will be surprised to know that the rainfall that is expected in the particular can is less than 25 percent. So what is going to be in the future you can see that the nature is uh, angry on us because we are trying to cut the nature from every aspect. Therefore I request uh, that these sort of uh, talks will be very useful to our students and our staff where give a new direction, especially in the emerging areas in these uh, topics of water conservation. I'm sure all of you here will get greatly benefited in view of some pressing engagements in the university. I'm, I would like to be here, but I'm not able to be here, but I will anyway take the celebrations from your coordinator and uh, see that uh, I'm surprised of what is happening here. But please do make this uh, event a memorable one and come out with some concrete uh, conclusions so that all of you get benefited. Not only you, the society also gets benefited to us. With these few words, I want to congratulate the Center for Environment, the coordinator, Dr. T. Vijayalashmi, and I thank the NSR Memorial Trust for having uh, supported this event. Thank you very much on behalf of the university. Wish you all the best. Thank you very much. Father, I, or when we had to actually wake him up in a lot of situations, we would call him as master and then we would get his immediate attention than Navigar. So uh, the, uh, that is the same passion in uh, energy that I wanted to continue on. So for us, uh, every step of the way, um, when we grew up, it was with the 
association of uh, the people who you see. It was his students as his family and the uh, education was his passion. So I think a lot of that helped me, my cousin who's here also very instrumental in bringing together uh, uh, what we have here, Dr. Gopinath, uh, from, he's a PhD in statistics. He and I, most of us know uh, each other. Him more of a professor in Andhra University than uh, in our personal life. So we wanted to remember him. So it is a very emotional thing this morning when I st stood there. Uh, we want to remember him. At, uh, He's amongst us, and the core pillars of what he believed is what we want to carry to the next generation. We want to help out. He always wanted his students to grow, his students to uh, pro progress in their organizations and things like that. Whenever, even in uh, when I was in uh, Australia in Brisbane, that was his intent. He used to say, I have my student in uh, Sydney. Uh, please go connect with him, try and understand what he is doing and things like that. So he had a lot of passion for students. And those are the core principles on which the trust is built. So the trust, he, uh, he always said, you will have to educate. So we have done a lot of, uh, while he was retiring, we said, uh, I'll try and constitute a prize to uh, the students of Andhra University. He said, no, no. That's a one-time thing, don't do something like that. Try and give more uh, opportunities to uh, give them the impart education, improve the awareness. So that's the first pillar of our uh, trust, which is educate, which is uh, improve the awareness of just not the uh, individuals within the research uh, uh, area, but also in the uh, general society. The second key pillar that we wanted to pick up was uh, a lot of times, the mentorship is missing. Uh, he uh, he had a lot of students in the industry who uh, who came on to get his mentorship, and that is what he did all his life. So that uh, and we have an eminent panel of people here, Dr. Babur Agaru, Intesvar, and all have seen a lot of life in uh, in the areas of chemistry, and therefore. That is another area that I thought is very relevant. They can carry his torch and mentor anybody who needs help. Uh, if they could take time to uh, organize this seminar, they de definitely can take time to mentor any one of you. So please try and uh, utilize that facility. The third element is network. A lot of times, you all look for jobs. The, and the industries also look for the right candidates. And he always was a platform. He, I, I saw him a lot of times where he said he would call up and say uh, to Dr. Eddies and say, come pick up my students. These are the top three students. You take them. And uh, the industry would be very happy to come pick them up because they know he, they have screened or he has screened them. So once again, we want to uh, try and bring that kind of a uh, trust, uh, that kind of enablement through this uh, trust. The last, and it may not be the immediate, is sponsor some of the good ideas. If you saw uh, Dr. Sen Gupta speak today morning, he was giving us guidance on what are the research areas, as well as if you carefully observe, what are the financial elements that are available. So we, uh, as a trust, cannot fund every project. But what we can do is bring these two together and make sure that the initial seed uh, fund that is required is, um, is available for the students to gain that, uh, uh, the gain in the sponsorship and reward from the uh, organization. So these are the core pillars on which the trust is made uh, our trust brochure or a very small uh, write-up is available in the folders that, that's given to you. Uh, the uh, Facebook or the email is monitored regularly. I do it. I have, uh, six of our members have it on their uh, phones. So we will uh, uh, promise to respond within 60 hours of uh, a request. So please do take uh, time. It is to try and uh, empower the ability, the, uh, the ability to do research and research for societal purposes. A lot of times, uh, if you are 
Uh, finding another pH indicator that is good, but is there a better mechanism to uh, take that uh, indicator to how the society uses them is what we are missing today. And that missing link is what we want and that's where uh, it is science for society uh, and societal purposes. With that, I'll thank uh, the opportunity to come speak. And I would like to specifically thank uh, Gopinath who has been in this as part of the family. Okay, what is that ready? Okay. Okay, sir, ready?